Let me show you what this bad boy can do. Hey guys, welcome back to Titanium Man Garage. And uh, please feel free to subscribe. I've got plenty of Polaris repairs. And uh, hit the like if you like this video. So I've been uh, AWOL for the past month. I had a couple different projects going on. Uh, today's video is going to be on doing the front axles on this, I believe it's a 2002 Sportsman. Uh, the customer was complaining that it seems to pull a little to the uh, right as he's driving it. Um, my guess it's got to be the Hillard clutch. He bought a new set of axles for it thinking there was something with that. So like I said, the customer was complaining that uh, I believe it was the right wheel was dragging and it kind of felt like it was pulling to the right. Uh, so I got it jacked up off the ground and this is tight. It's loose. A check for end play. He's got uh, <laughs> yeah, needs a lot of work. Tie rods are shot. Um, so I'm going to start by taking this wheel off and seeing what's going on here. I mean, I'm going to try one more thing. It's acting like it's in four wheel drive, which is not good. Okay. And I see the U-joint here is sloppy, so yeah, this thing's really shot. So I might have to lift the back end up off the ground just to get it to turn, see what I can get it to do. Alright, so I lifted the back end up and I uh, thought maybe the rear axle would spin one of the front. And uh, I can still get it to turn. So I'm going to take this wheel off, probably take this hub off and see what's going on. I see the uh, U-joints in the front axle a shot. I uh, customer bought a brand new set of axles. So we're gonna take this off. Mind safety first. I do have jack stands underneath there. Ooh. Wow. Combination of things going on. So the uh, the brake caliper, there's no pads. It's tight. When I twist this, that U joint is shot. So I'm gonna take that off. Take that off. Hopefully the Hillard clutch is good. Go through the brakes, see what's going on there. All right, so it appears the uh, customer may have stripped these out. So I'm gonna have to try to make this work. Hopefully without damaging the tool. So, just to resolve any of that, I'm going to take the brake pad, break the, I'm going to take the caliper off, make sure that's it's not hanging up. Huh, look at that. The uh, Hall effect sensor is broken off, it means the uh, speedometer doesn't work. I do have new brake pads, so that'll be something I, I'll put on. Tight. That's not a good sign. Lots of dirt in there. Oh wow, there's chunks in there. Chunks of metal. Holy shit. The bearing, I don't know if you can get in there and see that. 
is completely mashed. Usually the first sign of an issue is when you don't see any hub fluid coming out. So usually you want to put uh, ATF in there or Polaris makes a brand. You got to keep that lubed up. A lot of guys forget that. You should uh, change that fluid every season. Because if you don't, this is what will happen. But I'm guessing between the U-joint and the hub fluid, probably a combination of both is what might have wrecked it. I don't even know if I'm going to get that off of there. Might have to use the persuader. that bearing stuck in there oh look at that <laughs> nothing left of that ball bearings are falling out wow I might have to throw a different hub on here lots of metal shavings in there hey I can get away with cleaning it out just happen to have a bucket of old gas from the boat I'm gonna let it soak in there see if that cleans it out <laughs> this whole thing's coming right out. That is junk. You can see that. Hope the Hellard clutch is good. All right. I'm gonna clean that off. It's a little dirty, but she looks good. I think we can save it. Both sides are good. The plate looks still usable. I'm gonna clean that off. What the heck is that? Oh, look at that. That's junk. Alright, so now we know what we're dealing with. I'm gonna take the uh I'll take the tire rod off and the uh, lower control arm uh, nut and we'll pull us out and get that axle out of there. Oddly enough, I just happened to replace a set of tie rods. <clears throat> so I already know what the uh, what sockets they take. Right now I'm removing the cotter pin. 17 millimeter, and I believe the top is 15. 15 on the top, 17 on the bottom. I like to try to keep everything together if I can. Same thing on the bottom. I'm gonna take uh, got a pin out, and this is loose. <laughs> I think that was a nice six. So I want to hang up that uh, 
brake caliper, get it out of the way, doesn't get wrecked. If you have that uh, ball joint fork, you can jam that in between there. I don't happen to have one, so I gotta use a hammer and a screwdriver. Sometimes they just pop right there. Look at that. Now we're loose. Shot, the boots ripped. <laughs> Came right off. Alright, so I'm gonna pump up the air compressor, pop that pin out of the uh, the end of the uh, drive shaft here. Alright, so I got the back up in the air again, and I need to move that pin so I can access it from this side. A little more. So this is not going to be easy to see, but uh, there is a pin that goes through the differential shaft and into the axle shaft, and I'm going to pop that out. All right, so I got it started. Use metal extension. Pop this wash the rest of the way through. Here it goes. One doll pen removed. I just pushed her straight down. Sometimes you have to use your head. So, like I said, I just uh, ground on a bolt, put a half inch socket on there, and pfft, down. Down she went, and I should be able to pull it out. And that's where that pin goes. Wow, this is a nice kit the customer bought. Um, I probably should name drop, but uh, here you go. Comes with the shaft, comes with all the bearings. It even comes with the seals, which is pretty freaking awesome. I don't know what he paid for this, but uh, everything comes included. The nut, even the uh, <laughs> even the cutter pin comes with it. That's pretty cool. Going to go ahead and clean everything up and uh, get this all put back together. I'm going to go ahead and grease up that shaft. That'll make that new uh, axle shaft slide on better. And then I'm also going to move up the inside here. Alright, so my plan is I'm going to insert this end of the shaft into here first and then slide that all together. I do have the old bearing back in. Uh, it does seem to be in good shape. Next thing that we do is line up the holes. Right. I'm gonna pop that cotter pin back in. Sometimes they don't want to go back in because the, the edges are kind of mashed. So we're gonna see how this goes. I get lucky. If not, I'll have to sand it. <clears throat> What I like to do is start it by hand, if I can, so I know it's going in the right spot. I can use the air hammer to it the rest of the way in.
All right. What is that? I'm going to get this lined up next. I got the shaft in and the magnetic coil does not work. So I'm going to show you a little trick. I know this is going to be hard to see because the light's going to be shining right in your eyes. Uh, I'll take a straight edge and go straight across the inner, sorry, the inner and the outer circle of the magnetic coil. The inner is permanent, the outer moves in and out. And uh, there was some damage because of the bearing and uh, the hub was probably rubbing on here. I'm thinking it pushed that outer sleeve out. So the trick is, um, probably got a better straight edge than this, but I'll throw this over here and look through the light. And yeah, in the camera you're not going to see that, but the idea is to have the light behind you so you can see if the outer ring is showing light. And um, you can't see it in the camera, but uh, I see the lights in the inner ring. So that's telling me that this outer ring, I'm gonna get you out of the light here. This outer ring is too far out. <clears throat> so I'll try to show you what I'm doing. So this is just an old, uh, I don't know, it was an old tool for an air gun, but this works pretty good. So what I've been doing is I've been tapping on the outside and then I'll shine the light through here. And that's actually getting closer. You can take a feeler gauge too. I think it's the minimum is uh, 0 0.001. Uh, I usually just try to get it flush. So I want to make sure this ring is completely flat or that's not going to work either. If there's any uh, imperfections in it, it might not stick. Alright, so I got my... Uh, bearings greased. I'm going to throw that hub on. Tighten everything up. That should do it. Make sure I fill this back up with hub fluid. Alright guys, my uh, battery died on the camera, so sorry if uh, parts cut off, but uh, got her all back together. Remember when I first started, this would not move at all. She spins beautifully now, doesn't wobble. Put a new set of brake pads on because those were shot. And she should be good to go. And I'll do the other side next. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and like always, till next time.